another wine and food pairing. Here's the wine, Alto Verde. This is a Chilean Chardonnay from the Valle de Ledu, a, a new region that I never heard of. I did a review for this, you know, so uh, check it out and you can see what I thought about the wine. But this is going to be about pairing the wine uh, with food. So now I want to do this for you because I'm doing a double video. I have a video right camera here and a video camera here. Double duty. So I want to do this for you because when I shot the video, you know, you had this just bright fruit flavors of the wine. But remember, I did the video about the essence of the wine. You know, this is the residue that 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 recedes down the glass. You know, when all the wine is gone, this gives you a true aroma, a true bouquet of the wine. If there's a fault, it's going to be here. But if there's some other characteristics and flavors, it's going to be there too. So. In that wine review, I talked about the oak, the French oak that was aged in. And I'm like, you know, well, you can't really smell it, but you get a, 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 a note and a taste of, of cedar or spice. But here, and I said, you couldn't get any, like, caramelization or smokiness. But here, in the essence, you could pick up some of the smokiness of the wine. Ah, I mean, which is great. So I just wanted to do that for you. I'm going to pour some wine, and then I'm going to do this pairing. Let's see what we got here. Isn't that a beautiful color, this Chardonnay? Beautiful, beautiful color, Chardonnay. All right, so now you can't see the wine here. So let's put the wine here so you can see it. All right. All right, so there you go. And you can even see my my other camera right here. <laughs> All right, so there we go. So we got the wine here that we're going to be doing the Chardonnay from Chile. We have our wine glass here. Now, here's what I have on the plate. I like to just throw things together and just see what happens. So I have just rice as my background, plain background. I have uh, spiced, sautéed pork strips. You know, just simple, simple flavors, you know, some, uh, some uh, cayenne uh, pepper, uh, cracked pepper flakes, red pepper flakes, you know, a double zero spice that I do, pepper, salt, very simple. Then I have uh, bok choy with garlic, onion, and cayenne pepper okay so something to be i like the spice so i have nice little spice here we'll give it a taste and see how this wine goes remember in that review you know i said you know citrus orange you know dry nice acidity you know on the nose a little bit of pineapple white peach but i would even throw a little bit of apple in there right a little bit of apple all right so there you go let me give it another taste taste the wine <laughs> Wow, wonderful. And now we're going to taste the dish. So I'm going to like, you know, do this in portions. I'm going to taste some of the bok choy first. You know, so I have some of the white part and some of the green part. Let's put some garlic in here. Let's put some onion in there. I want to taste this. Where's my onion? Here's a piece of onion. Let's taste this first and see how this is going to pair with this Chardonnay. Mm. So, the vegetables, once sauteed, get a little sweetness. That's why I added the heat to offset that sweetness, okay? The fruitiness and the dryness, the minerality here from the Chardonnay, I'm hoping it's going to be a good pair. This is just the vegetables. I didn't do any rice, just the vegetables. On the nose, it definitely feels like it's going to go well just by smelling Remember, what you smell is connected to your mouth, right? Here we go. Mmm. Wow. That actually goes really good together. The bok choy. So the spice, the subtle sweetness of the bok choy emulates with the fruit or blends in with the fruit. The fruit comes through and kind of smooths over the spices. And then it kind of lifts it up a little bit, that spiciness from the barrel aging wow again being dry nice acidity cleanses my palate mm. that worked out really well with the bok choy now for the pork i just take a piece of pork strip of pork okay now meat always a good partner with wine red wines white wines Dry wines, some sweet wines, always a good partner with meat, I find. For my palate, anyway. 
。うん。だけど、わ、wow. Another good pairing. Again, that acidity, that ripeness, the fruitiness that comes through. Wow, they're great. So, let's take it up a notch. Now, let's eat like normal people. When normal people eat, they're mixing food, right? So, I'm going to do that. I'm going to have a little bit of bok choy. I'm going to have some pork. And I'm going to have some rice. Mm. Okay. Rice being neutral. Let's see what we got. I thought about adding. I thought about adding some soy sauce. What? Okay, you know what? Another time, another wine, right? Here we go. Wow. Good combination. I like how it picks up the spice. In my dish, I like how the fruit works well with the vegetables. We have a winner here, the Alto Verde Chilean Chardonnay from the Du Valle de uh, Le, 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 Leda, Ledu, Ledu. All right, 2017. I'll have the link at top where you can watch the review, check it out. There you have it, Wisconsin wine guys. Saying as always, let your palate. And your palate be the guy with selecting your wine and pairing wine and food. See you next time. Ciao.